humanity has been shaken. It left a lot of men broken. Man's heart filled him for fear. The plague was everywhere. A situation such as has never been seen that opened the hearts of many to see what life truly stands for. Money filled, sweet food turned sour. Man's intellect filled him. The hope of many went dim. All the hustles and bustles of the human race brought to a halt at a rare pace. A common enemy, a foe, not a friend, all of a sudden began to trend, reflected its ugly head on every sector, causing great discomfort and unwanted vector. Every aspect felt a sting. It flew with speed as one with wings. Like wildfire, it continued to spread. But we know that surely there is an end. Oh yes, it met opposition, which is us, Christ's expression. As guardians of the galaxy, we arose with authority. In full force, we stroke back, and by God, we drove it aback. We're a people of truth and light, by His Spirit, not by power or might. And in a conquest, it's a fate fight. We are light in a dark world, rendering the plans of the enemy null and void. We won, and now we're here with the battle lines on and the whistle blown. We've got a while before Jesus returns. So stepping forward, we are not relenting. He's still letting, so we keep marching. As an army that has been bought with a price and equipped to rise, for hell will not prevail against us, his church, even when the enemy shall come in. Like a flood, the Holy Spirit of God will lift up a standard against him. Our lights cannot dim. Our muscles are founded on the world's gym. In lockdown, but we were not brought down. Casted down, but not destroyed destroyed, persecuted, but never abandoned. Christ in us, the hope of glory. We're living a story, an embodiment of the holiest of holies, because greater is he that is in us. We are unaffected by the world's holocaust, blessed assurance, divine insurance, that we are lifted, seated with Christ in Christ, far above the crisis of this world. Divine ties binds us together. We're a people of grace, hope and power, wisdom and tenacity. Yes, we know that there is a grace in Zion. There is a power here. In Zion, the blind see and the deaf hear. There is a transforming grace in Zion. People come beaten and battered and then gain testimonies and are clothed in glory. People come confused and receive direction. People come in chains and are made free of all addictions. There is a person in Zion. There is a power at work here. Even the spirit of truth whom the Father has sent in his name to take away our pain, give us glory this day. His allos, paracletos, always ready to defend us sweet holy spirit divine so pure chaste and true there is a language in zion we have a mode of communication there is a way we talk here when men are cast down in the world we say there is a lifting up we are unaffected by the world's holocaust we are a people in zion a people of faith hope and power forged in love forged of hate there are angels in zion there are melodies in zion there is health and wholeness in zion there is joy in zion there is peace and tranquility. There is security. We're a people matching on in the strength of the spirit. Unstoppable, irresistible. The armies of the living God, soldiers of Christ. There is strength in Zion. Jesus, our marvelous help, is here. He's the vine with the branches. So we know that even when we go through the fire and through the water, we are not destroyed. We come out stronger because he's in us and we're in him. Stepping forward still believing 2020 is not over because we are more than conquerors.